What's up, fantasy people? This is Tyler, Big Turd Ward, and Jason, the Lucky Bastard Youth and Will, coming at you live from two different states. And this is the Fantasy Football and Show. Today's episode, week 11, Beer Time Breakdown. Beer Time Breakdown. So, if you like to drink alcohol, crack one open. If you don't, uh, we're just live vicariously through us. Yeah. Jason. Yeah. How can these fine people help this channel? Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. I don't need a read. I know what they oh, could was... do. They know what they could do, too. They could <laughs> send us some likes. They could like it. They could put it on the video and say, like, 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 like. And then... To help us out, because we need to get 20 more subscribers so we can start doing this live on the mobile, uh, they can subscribe. That, that would really, really go a long way. We love getting subscriptions. Tyler said it, has said this repeatedly. Uh, it's a release of dopamine. And we get, we get a little, feeling a little good when we get a little subscription. Also, Jason. do those comments. Yeah. Oh. What is this right here? That is a phone. Oh, because people may. <laughs> I was just saying, I was trying to think of something. I was like, Armage the the rapture is upon us. Ragnarok is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, Tyler spent money. He spent money on a laptop for you guys. So if you could please just like it, subscribe, leave a comment. It goes very. It goes a long way. It helps uh, Tyler spend more money. We're all for it. So. You know, there was some laptop hype for a while. I know, so I'm testing it out right now because I think I'm going to have to shoot. I think I get better quality on my phone, the 4K quality. So eventually, I think I'm going to shoot it on my phone and then send it to my laptop to for video processing. But yeah, dude, I didn't just get it for this. I get to play. I don't think you've ever played Command & Conquer, Yuri's Revenge, but I'm going to download that tonight, I think. Do have it. Have you ever played that? <laughs> no. Are you serious? No. You ever played any Command & Conquer games? No man, I'm not. I'm an ex. I'm a controller player, man. I ain't PC well, unless hey, it was Diablo back now. In the I have day. to buy a. Well, I am gonna buy an Xbox controller for this. I just don't. I think I need to get a different one so it plugs into a USB port, or maybe I can get a. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta yeah, figure yeah, yeah, this yeah. out. But anyways, enough of our personal life, Jason. So the Titans played the Packers last night in the snow. It's funny because I didn't <laughs> know it was gonna be snowing on the field for some reason. I was like, I heard it was gonna be cold, but. As soon as I turned on the TV, there was all those heavy snowflakes. Yeah. I was very surprised, too. Oh, dude. And I was like, you know who comes alive? I mean, I know the fantasy footballers call them uh, call him Yeti, the Yeti. Because as it starts to snow, he gains power. You know, <laughs> um, I am a Derrick Henry owner, and I was watching that game last night. I freaked out the first drive because I thought he hurt himself, you know, because he's all, take me out. No, give me, you know, take me out, take me out. And uh, <laughs> is he down? <laughs> That's my Derrick Henry voice. <laughs> my arms are huge. My voice is small. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But anyways, oh. I was like, I was like, dude. Uh, so did you see Dontrell Hillard caught that first touchdown? And um, yeah, I really didn't think anything of it, but they've been having that camera that shows like behind the quarterback. <laughs> that was an amazing throw by Tannehill. Yeah, and it was uh, one of those things where it's like, who uh, who started him? Who started uh, Hillard? D who did you? Oh, uh, no, like... I'm just saying, like, no one well, probably even... started that guy, and then he goes off and gets uh, a touchdown, and it was like, it was, what, 10, 15-yard touchdown that he got to, or something like that? Yeah, well, that's like probably the second or third one he's vultured this season, so. And it was just like, well, I mean – you know, even even the great King Henry can run out of steam sometimes and need a little breather. And then they were trying to curse him on that broadcast. I don't know if you were watching it from the beginning. Al Michaels yeah. is like, I forget who he said. It was always used to fumble when he wore the sleeves. sleeves. Yeah, Mod Green. Yeah, Mon Green. Thank you so much. He's always on. The, yeah, with John Madden. who was talking about this. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, dude, don't be talking about Derrick Henry fumbling, please. Yeah. But, yeah, dude, that was a. Uh, Derrick Henry, like, I, I knew off the bat, because, like, you scared me about Derrick Henry. And then I heard the Thursday night stat, and they're like, Derrick Henry loves Thursday nights. He's been getting, like, 100 yards on the last, like, X amount of uh, Thursday nights. Um, so that gave me confidence. But, dude, 
that offensive line was getting zero push on that defensive line. I don't know who said that. They must be getting their sources from an un- unreliable source. Bunch of those pimple poppers over there hired by I mean, ESPN. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes they exaggerate just a little bit, but I don't – the last two – Oh, on Thursday night. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking about against the Packers in general that Derrick Henry has not played well. I believe the stats, but yeah. Okay, so in general, yes, I even put out those stats that on uh, the last, like, five times. uh, On Thursday nights? Yeah, I put that out that the last, like, Man, I listened to your video. uh, You just scared me with so much hate on the uh, Derrick Henry stuff. The the Packers play pretty good against Derrick Henry, and they did it again. If you really think about it, they I mean he only got eighty seven yards on like twenty eight carries. He got that, and he got that one screen for forty yards. Yeah, I mean that that really helped out. But I mean he was able he was able to get a touchdown. So when he got that touchdown, it was like all right, that's good. No matter you feel like if he gets a touchdown, no matter what, he's getting over. 10, 12 points. I mean, it's not the best, but that's great. But then they also, you know, they were adding him into the passing game. He got that 40-yard uh, reception. And then he also threw a touchdown. So Tight that's a spiral, addition. man. Tighter than I can throw. Oh, I know. Bama. And, I mean, that right there, I mean, like, the Packers were shutting him down on the run game, but they were using him in different ways, and he was able to get people points. I'm sure he probably got over, like, 20 points in yesterday's game. He got 23 for us. Um I should ask you though, what were you looking for in this game to start off with? Uh, going to this game, obviously, because he had a big game last week. I wanted to see if the Packers, uh, Christian Watson, continued success. You know, he finally had that, that break breakthrough game. I wanted to see if it, it was going to keep going. And then on the Titans side, I just wanted to see if uh, Derrick Henry is going to bounce back against the game or bounce back from the game against the Broncos. The Bronco game last week. Not the Raiders, the, the Broncos. <laughs> this For is anybody who <laughs> this is a call back, back to your last episode. If anybody watched that last episode, I don't know what I was thinking. It was like in my brain, I was even like arguing with Tyler about it. And I was like, they played the Raiders. <laughs> no, the Colts played the Raiders. I don't know what I was thinking. I even watched the highlights of that game. I don't know. I know what's happened. But anyway, they played the Broncos last week. The Broncos were pretty much uh, stopping him. I think he only got like seven points. I wanted to see a little bit of bounce back. At first, I was like, you know, it's not looking too good. He's not getting a lot of rushing yards, but he got that touchdown. He had that passing touchdown. That right there is already 10 points. Just oh, yeah. Rushing touchdown and the passing touchdown, so – and well, I was hopeful. well. I was. I mean, I was banking on. It's like after he got taken down on that screen because I thought he was going to score a touchdown on that screen. I was very upset. And then I he did, did that. Off, then he did that pass, and I was like, dude, that was worth watching right there. So, I mean, yeah, I was a little upset because we have long. We have a 50, 50 yard touchdown bonus in our league. Yeah, and I recommend that to anybody because that's just awesome. Um, yeah, it's like it, a. I think I added it to a. A three point bonus if for any touchdown uh longer than fifty yards. Yeah, and it's funny because I haven't been getting any. Um, even with uh two of Tonga Viola, you think I would. Um everything's been kind of short, 40 right. yards or whatever. But anyways, dude, about this game though. Um, so yeah, Dontre Hill and you and then you said Christian Watson, and I was really pushing for Christian Watson to have a good game. Uh because you know, I was recommending him. I was all telling Matt. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah dude. I was like, I would expect this. And then I was heard uh, Chad Ochocinco was talking about how when you're so talented, like a tall, fast dude, and you can catch. And then, like, one, it just takes one breakout game to really change your career. Like, really, it does. It's funny that Chad Ochocinco is talking about this. No, it's funny um, that said that he could catch. <laughs> but right now, he's not. Oh, oh, I know, dude. Yeah, he's well, like, hey, he could catch. Can so. I've got some stuff about Christian Watson. So Christian Watson now leads all rookies in touchdowns. He had zero touchdowns six days before yesterday. Yep. So I thought that was pretty crazy. Well, when you get three in one game. Yeah. So Christian Watson, week 10. Or he had eight. So he had week 10, 80% of snaps. 
And then uh, four catches, 48 yards, two touchdowns. Was that – why – is it – that's that was in week 10? That was week yeah, 11. Against the, Cow- against the Cowboys. This is, we're in week 11 right now. That's crazy. So that was a tweet from Mike Florio saying that uh, – talking about Christian Watson's stats. So Mark – oh, wow. I like um, Florio, and he got that wrong. So, yeah, but he had 80 – he was on an, in on 80% of snaps this game. And because I noticed some some plays where he was out. But I'll tell you what, dude, he looks better than Alan Lazard. Well, I, I uh, so this is what I was kind of like Alan Lazard. This is what I was seeing with, with uh, Christian Watson, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he did have targets there at the end. There, uh, the cornerback for the Titans, Fullerton, went out with an injury. I think a hamstring. They brought on a uh, a rookie uh, cornerback, Avery. Uh, they didn't attack that Avery on the get-go, but when they got the ball back a few drives, garbage time, uh, they got some catches. But last week, I believe Christian had four receptions. Three of those were touchdowns. This week, if we want to take out uh, garbage time, he had two receptions for two touchdowns. Yeah, so right. right now, So right now what I'm seeing is that it might be somebody else getting the ball down to the twenties, but it's going to be Watson who's going Dude, to get all the time, man. Touchdown. Like it's crazy. Yeah. Like he was getting every time. Like you, they were in the red zone. He was getting so targeted. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. which which is fine. Which I mean, three touchdowns last week, two touchdowns this week. That so the first touchdown that he got, and Rogers. I mean, he's he, he's he's crazy, but. He's pure genius. He was the one that actually perfected the uh, the free play. He used to do it with Jordy Nelson all the time. He used to drive me crazy. Um, but yeah, they did the free play at the end of the quarter. I, you know, everyone, Al Michaels was like, "Hey, we're going to commercial." And then next, you know, you see Aaron Rodgers hurry up and snapping it. They got a free play because too many defenders on the field, and he just threw it up. And you know, the the six four Watson was going to out jump Fullerton and got the touchdown. It was a brilliant touchdown. It really was. It was it was brilliant. So, Jason, this is like – so I said he is like Gabe – I said he's Gabe Davis light on my waiver show. Yeah, I can see that. Absolutely. I think he's Gabe Davis equal now. So, um, who, who would you rather have going forward, Gabe Davis, Christian Watson? Right now, Christian Watson. Yeah. So, there you go right there, dude. Like, if I could trade Gabe Davis for Christian Watson, would I? I probably would because there's more potential there. You know, like we know what Gabe Davis is. We're still not quite sure like what Christian Watson right. is. So he, I think that's a yeah, I think that's a big oh, deal right there. That's a good comparison is between those two. And it looks like Rogers is finally starting to really trust him. He, uh Christian Washington, Watson is actually catching the ball now and he he's scoring touchdowns. He He's a fast. He's one of the fastest dudes on their offense, and he's he's tall. So it's like this guy was made to score some touchdowns. I think better late than never, right? Whoever picked him up, yeah. I think this guy is going to be doing something for uh for the fantasy managers in the playoffs. So we're since we're on this side of the ball, like I want to say where I was wrong on my Thursday night predictions. So like I said that I said that um Christian Watson was going to get. 70 like 75 yards and a touchdown he got 48 yards and two touchdowns i thought one i thought that alan lazard was going to get like heavily targeted which he was i thought he, he was get 100 yards and a touchdown he only got 50 yards he only got you know 57 yards and no touchdowns but i, I still think that would have been a better bet was with alan lazard getting 100 yards and a touchdown and christian watson only getting one um and then i also said that aaron Rodgers was going to throw for 300 yards because i thought that Titans um secondary was just like decimated if you look at their injury mm-hmm. report. Yeah. But they showed like the rookies playing and everything. Dude, the Titans secondary played really well and they held Aaron Rodgers to what like 225 and two touchdowns. And that's like literally his average, dude. Like l- like that's his average. You look at his games, like, yeah. He goes for like 225 and two touchdowns, like every game. That's Aaron Rodgers. The only thing that kind of helped Aaron Rodgers out is that he converted a two point conversion to Aaron Jones to get an additional two points to his uh Fantasy scoring. Other, if right. he didn't get that, he would have got around 16, 17 points, depending on what type of league you're in. 
and that's what he's been doing basically all year in that so, in that little area. Fifteen. Yeah, and then points. um, I was kind of a I should have mentioned like um Randall Cobb in my waiver show. I always forget how much he likes Randall Cobb. Yeah. Um, and I, I wouldn't have mentioned like picking him up, but I would have mentioned that him in the Christian Watson stuff. But yeah, dude, Randall Cobb was getting everything early. If you notice that. Right. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like Randall Cobb. He'll he'll catch that fifteen yard. Uh, third. The ceiling and 10. is just like is it's he it doesn't have the same ceiling as Lazard or Watson. So. And then he goes out for three plays. He's like a Julio. Jones. Oh, dude, you're right about that too. And um. And then I don't want to, man, I almost, I want to do a victory dance for you, Jason, but um, Mm. I do want to say that Sammy Watkins, like, I know he had a a bad throw. Like, so Lazard, uh, he got overthrown by, uh, by Aaron Rodgers. Watkins had a bad throw by Aaron Rodgers. And then Aaron Rodgers came out afterwards and talked about how his thumb injury is really affecting the way he throws. So going forward, I really do think that you just don't want, don't care about Aaron Rodgers. Like if you want, if you need 15, 16 points a game, go ahead and pick him up. But like, if you want to yeah. go for a higher ceiling, you're going to have to pick up somebody else. So like Aaron Rodgers is a solid 15 points a game, but that's all you're going to get out of him. Yeah. I, he was on my uh, bench for most of the year. And, but sometimes when you're going up against people like Patrick Mahomes or something like, or somebody like that, it's like that Jackson. Player. Yeah. Uh, it's like that. Exactly. And like the 15 points isn't, isn't really going to cut it. Yeah, you know, especially if I was struggling at other positions on my fantasy team, which I was, you know, still am. But uh, I, I end up, I end up dropping him. Uh, I know probably last week, you know, he threw for that extra touchdown. He had three touchdowns last week, and he probably was getting picked up on a lot of teams. But you know, Aaron Rodgers does not look the same. He's blaming on his thumb all year. Now week eleven, he blames on his thumb. But yeah. you're right, Tyler. He's just going to stay consistent around the. No, it's 50, all, I mean it is 50, what it is with mark. the Packers right now. Because I was thinking maybe with Christian Watson breakout, it might be different. But he, the way he's playing is just going to be what it is. I do believe in Christian Watson going forward, though. And then, um, Derek or sorry, sorry. And then the run game there, Aaron Jones, like. Yeah, he had a bad game, but like, dude, the Titans defense, you should know you should have known this. I mean, we talked about this going into this game, is that the Titans can stop the run. They're gonna have to they're gonna have to pass the ball on them. But uh Aaron Jones did have a scare. He, I thought he hurt his hamstring, oh, but he just I fell on his butt. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. So he hurt his he hurt his ass, dude. He hurt his ass. Yeah. His butt got a little it, bit. It was like, you know, 28 degrees there. He just fell on his ass. Yeah, well, he went out for a couple of plays, and then he just he just came back in. Yeah, yeah I mean, then... he only had twelve opportunities to run the ball though, forty yards. But I mean, you called it, Tyler. He had six receptions on seven targets, plus a two point conversion. Right. Um, he got you over ten points as a I'm gonna, most likely. I'm gonna pee my pants if I don't go right now. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm all. <laughs> I see myself up there. What am I doing? I'm. I think I'm doing the same pose I'm doing right now. Well, yeah. It was like the string was just like a little bit like this. Uh, I think that's something huge though for Aaron Jones, is that he he's he's a great running back. He's really good at running the ball. Uh, he only had twelve opportunities this time, but he also had six receptions. He could also catch the ball. And watching yesterday's game, Aaron Rodgers' average um, per pass was pretty low because they did he did throw a lot to the wide like uh to Aaron Jones out on the side, just a quick pass, get it, and try to do what he can with it. I mean, because normally you don't see uh, six receptions for twenty yards, so that that right there tells you that Aaron Jones was actually catching the ball a lot by the line of scrimmage or behind and trying to do something. It's going to produce enough, but. If you're in a PPR league, that six receptions got you six points. And we talked, and I think I, we talked about, or I did, uh, trading Aaron Jones high a couple weeks ago. Um, but I think if you have him now, you just ride, you just ride through the season with him. I he looks awesome. Um, yeah. must have been last week, I think I said because he did that Marshawn Lynch touchdown thing last week. Um, but yeah, and as a former AJ Dillon owner. Like I was like, oh man, I dropped Dylan too fast because I thought he got injured. But then, 
dude, you watch him run and everything. It's like, dude, he should be doing, he should be so much better than what he is. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like he's, he's huge and he's fast and he's good at catching the ball. It's just like, he has no vision. He has no vision. He just runs right up the butt of everybody else. Yeah. He, maybe he likes, never mind. <laughs> oh, whoa. Here we go. I was going to say, Hey dude. <laughs> I, I know. I know what you're going to say. I smell poop I all the time. <laughs> I I know what you're going to say. Drink to that. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Man. So Jason, I want to go and then uh, do a victory. We have a couple of victory laps on the other side of the ball. Okay. I want to talk about your boomer bust, your super boom. Jason, the lucky bastard youth and Walt called this in his, uh, you know, pre Thursday night. So start paying attention to his boomer bust because it's actually been pretty doing, doing pretty well lately. It's only been two weeks in, <laughs> but Hey man, <laughs> yeah. I can't, I didn't hear one fantasy person talk about Austin Hooper, except for you, ex- except for you, Jason. Yeah. I mean, if you just go, I was just going off the stats, right? Um, I didn't think there was going to be any breakout wide receiver, which we're going to go into most definitely. And I saw the targets that uh, Austin Hooper was actually getting throughout the game. And what I was hoping for was just like, I didn't think Derrick Henry was going to do a lot on the ground, which he didn't. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, and I saw the point where it was like, okay, they get it to the goal line and I could see a possible uh, play action to Hooper. It wasn't a play action, but he ended up getting, he, he ended up getting two touchdowns on the game, one from Derrick Henry it was a little trick play, which, you know, looked like he was going to run the ball from four yards out. Instead, he threw the ball, Austin Hooper. And then he got like, what, like a, like a 12, 15 yard touchdown, which was a split in the defense. It was a, it was a great play. Um, I just saw like towards the end zone. I feel like Tannehill was just going to spread the ball out to everybody to get him down to the end zone. If Derek Henry wasn't going to do it, he was going to go to a tight end. And I, and by the targets I was seeing in the past weeks, it, uh, Hooper has been doing pretty well in the targets. I was like, this could be a game for him to uh, score a touchdown. And he definitely got a super boom because he got two touchdowns. So he was four for 36 and two touchdowns. He definitely got you over uh, 15 points. So yeah. I don't know if anyone was going to start him. You probably got that on your waivers. Don't expect that every week, though. But – after watching that game, dude, because this is a what Ryan Tannehill's uh, second game back, I think first game back, yeah. whatever his first game back, he looks so good. <laughs> like, uh, I would not mind having Austin Hooper on my team, um, because it's like, dude, they spend so much. I love Traylon Burks, but like, I don't think he's like the the short. I think he's a deep threat. I don't think he's like a red, you know, like a like a short red zone target. I think Austin Hooper is like what they want to do with Mike Vrabel as a coach. So I'm glad you brought that up too, because I mean, I said, sit uh, Burks. I we, said, uh, oh no, like pause. you didn't want to start Burks. Like that's not what you do in fantasy football, man. You don't start people with so many unknowns. Right. Um. What was, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So, well, I was going to say pause him. Uh, Tyler, did you start him this week? Hell no. I wish I would have. Right, right, right. So, and even there was a time where I was like, okay, you know, I think I did pretty well this week on the player pause. But what really killed it was Burks getting that 51-yard reception there at the end to put him over 111 yards and seven receptions. I'm like, Dude, he well, was killing there- it in the first half. Killing it. right. But be- before that, he would have been six receptions for 60 yards. When I'm like, okay, I'm okay with that. And that, in our league, that's like not even 10 points. You want all your players to get over 10 points. I felt like that was pretty good until you threw that that 51-yard reception. And I'm like, okay, well, so I was wrong on the, the pause for Burks. But I think the important thing to look at is that he had eight targets that game. Oh, dude. In the good targets, not oh, 10 minutes. Oh, wow. We got 10 minutes, Jason. 
Oh yeah, come you can save thirty five percent, thirty five percent on Zoom One Pro. <laughs> upgrade. Yeah, you can upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Hey, hey, you know what my dog thinks about upgrading? It's she right. Thinks this. <laughs> oh, butt to the face. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Tea We've been drinking. Yeah, but this is why uh, you come here, man. You don't get this kind of stuff anywhere else. But I think the good. I think, I think everybody who plays fantasy football would not have start Burks. But then we also said, I said in my thing, this is a game to watch Burks. Eight targets, seven receptions, 111 yards. Now you're thinking a flex position for Burks because obviously he does have, he does like him a little bit. And, uh, Sorry, my well, food just got delivered by DoorDash. No, you're uh, good, dude. He, so no, no, he's like, liking like, him, and he he looked pretty well. He looked yeah, pretty good. Well, well, I was like, I think I was saying like, um, oh, this is the last. I was like telling you guys on my waiver. I've been because he's been on my waiver wire for like I swear to God, like a month Keep and a half. About. Give me two seconds. But like I was telling you guys, uh, this was your last chance to pick up Traylon Burks for free. And guess what, dude? You better hope that everybody forgets about this game because it's on the Thursday. Because you're going to be spending like 25 bucks on Traylon Burks now. So yeah, that was smart. Try to get him oh, early. It's just like, I mean, how many how many wide receivers on the on the waiver wire are going to be a number one target when they step in? I mean, there's potential for Jamison Williams, but he's still going to be the number two target. You know, like other than that, it was only Traylon Burks or Darius yeah. Slay. And like Darius Slay, I actually had ahead of him this week. So like, I still expect Darius Slay to get more than I, I see. I expect Darius Slay to get like hundred yards and a touchdown. Traylon Burks just got hundred yards, so I still expect Darius Slay to do better. Um, but that's just for the week. Now, if I went into season, I would say Traylon Burks no problem. And then, um, other than that, as far as pass catchers, I think you just want Traylon Burks. And I think you like that Westbrook was a good story, but we talked about this it was a. Uh, it's the defense that. Um, Denver plays, man. Like you can't, you can't do anything against Patrick Sertain. Yeah. So that Westbrook got everything. Even they they were even good against tight ends. Um, Denver is. Yeah, and Westbrook so, only and, got. And, two and then you couldn't judge him on anything two weeks before because they only threw ten passes a game, and then Tannehill wasn't doing that great before. So, anyways, I think this is where I do like what where the Titans are headed, and I think you, that you need to invest in like a couple of their players. Yeah, I think. Uh... I think Burks is definitely going to be one of them. I think Tannehill, who I said to pause, who's had bad uh, games against the Packers, um, he got a he got a twenty one points in our league. He might be someone to look at too. Uh, Burks, Tannehill, Tannehill or Aaron Rodgers, Jason. Tannehill. All right, there you go. For sure, yeah. Rather have Tannehill. Um, Titans are playing good. Their defense is playing good. They've won seven out of the last eight games. The one game that they lost was to Kansas City, and that was an overtime with a backup quarterback. Uh, I, right now, I still want to play Robert Woods. I don't think Woods, from what I've seen, was a guy that's going to get you in the end zone, and that's going He's to be a bailout guy. guy. That, yeah, That's a guy that that's what you're going to need from him. Right now, I would play Burks over Robert Woods. Dude, hey, this was a hot subject on Reddit today. Um, Christian Watson or Traylon Burks? Watson. So the consensus, the consensus, the consensus on Reddit, but I don't really care about Reddit consensus because I like the subjects, but I don't really care about the input. Um, was that um, Watson's going to have a higher ceiling, but the Trey Burks is going to be more consistent? Yes, but I I could I see that. This is how I, this is how I'm seeing it right now. Last two games that Watson uh did well in, Green Bay was playing from behind, right? They had to do a little catch up, throwing the ball. Watson was the guy in the end zone. It'd be every game uh, almost, dude. The, the Titans, the Titans with their defense being as good as it is, I mean, Derrick Henry was not even playing well, and they kept giving him the ball. Thank it God, dude. Matter. Thank God. They Thank just God. Kept giving him the ball. The very, his over and under was ninety eight. Net. His over and under Jason was ninety nine and a half in in Vegas. Uh, he, 
he didn't get that by like 12 yards or something like well, that, right? Well, just, you know, people were like, well, the whole question was like, yeah. it wasn't like, is he going to get 80 yards? It's like, no, is he going to get 100 yards? Yeah. And, and, but you were right on that, dude. Like, after listening to your stuff, I was like, there's no way in hell I'd bet on the over of that. I would have bet on the under, no problem. Um, I think that was, that was, they were just wanting, they wanted Tannehill. They were like more daring Tannehill to throw the ball. Um, like I said, Tannehill doesn't, he doesn't have really great success in Lambeau Field, but he, he put on a show last night. Uh, I would say that Derrick Henry is the first option. And I would say Derrick Henry is the second option on that team. And then you would go to, you know, Trey Burks, where I feel like when you're in the end zone right now, I think I think what Aaron Rodgers is seeing is like, okay, our guy finally got some confidence. He's going to be a foot taller than everybody else he's going up against, as we saw it in the first he touchdown look of the six game. Five. Yeah. He, he doesn't, but when he was going up against Fulton and he just like caught that ball with ease, I was like, yeah. oh my God, like this is what Rodgers is probably going to aim for. Plus, he's got the speed. He's super fast. You, you know, he's going to get those deep shots and hopefully a catch for, you know, a 50 plus touchdown. So I think, yeah. I think Burke, Burke, I think Watson, sorry, I'm drinking. So I'm like, my mind's all. You're uh, good, dude. I think Burks is going to be the more consistent player, but I think Watson's ceiling's high. And right now, because the Packers are playing so crappy, at the end of the game, they're really going to have to throw the ball. And I think he's going to be going towards uh, Watson more. Yeah, that, I mean, I think that's a good point because I, I I believe that the Packers are going to be down most games. It doesn't matter who they play. Yeah, and so like, man, Aaron Rodgers really likes him some Christian Watson, so. If I could trade Traylon Burks for Christian Watson right now, I think I, I think I would because I'm going for upside. But if I'm looking for like just like a wide receiver two, maybe flex, I like Traylon Burks. But at the same time, I really view Gabe Davis as Christian Watson right now. Yeah, so, I really do. So like, a two and I love having, right now. and I love having you know Gabe Davis as my wide receiver two. The problem is he's he's had to be my my wide receiver one lately, and that mm-hmm. sucks. Um, because Michael Pittman and Cortland Sutton just have not worked out, but at the same time, they're coming back in a huge way because Jerry Judy's injured and Matt Ryan's starting. So if I can make playoffs, maybe I'll do something, but I have a 1% chance to make (laughs) Is that what it says? It says you got 1%? Oh, damn. I want to go look at one. Who do you guys want to listen to? Do you guys want to listen to the person that's in last place of their league? Yeah. You guys don't understand. This is the year that does not make sense. It does not make sense. Well, this is all on top of that. This is the year that I'm getting like avalanche points on like every week, dude, like ridiculous. There's always one person in your league who gets the most points scored on every year, right? I'm like at 1300. Everybody else is like a thousand or under a thousand. So crazy. I score I score 50 points a game and I'm able to be in a higher <laughs> like ranking than Tyler because no one scores like, points against me. Uh <laughs> so like, oh hey, thank you. I want to start a I want to start a football, a fantasy football podcast. What do you think about that fantasy football people? How about this? How about you have the worst year ever, dude? How about you suck so nobody listens yeah. to you? How about that? Did you, you yeah. hear about what I said on my last video, Jason? The very end, I was like, uh, show this video to my parents so they know how I died. <laughs> it's your open letter bro well death by fantasy football less death than one minute all right football. guys we gotta hey. close it up we can... jason closing words are you talking you... oh crap i i i hit my thing up and then i acted <laughs> like i hit it up and then i really did i was like i, I thought i thought my internet just <laughs> jacked God, went down. I, I gave the best advice ever. Uh, a closing word. So I don't really got much. Go out there and get Watson if you can. Go out there and get Burks if you can. Uh, like this video. This was really fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with us. Like it's me and Tyler have fun together. Uh, subscribe. Please subscribe. We need to get 20 more. We got to go mobile live. Mobile live. Thank you so oh. much, everybody. We really appreciate it. Okay. Later. Okay.